Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. The son of Zebedee and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Now, the question I have, of course, is what, what did he call them? He didn't call them names. He called them, come and follow me, just like he did with Andrew and Peter. And he said, come and follow me, and I'll make you to become what? Fishers of men. men. Very good. Okay, I, I feel sorry for Zebedee. Thank you. Right? So here's this guy who had built this family business with his sons, James and John, and probably had visions and expectations of what they were going to do. They were going to take over the business. He'd be able to retire. They'd have kids. You know, he'd have grandkids. They'd all be in the fishing business. This was his vision for his sons. You guys are going to be fishermen. You're going to take over the family business. This is going to be wonderful. You can take care of me in my old age. And all of a sudden, this mysterious man from Galilee, from Nazareth, who they've only heard a time or two before, and maybe spent a little bit of time with, suddenly going to get this call. It's the Son of God, it's the Savior of the world, and they leave everything behind, including their father, including their business, including their livelihood, including their families, and follow this mysterious man from Galilee. What a disappointment that must have been for Zebedee. And I wonder if he thought, man, oh man, I had this vision of what these guys were going to do, and now my vision has been dashed, my plans for them is not going to be fulfilled, what do I do now? Poor old Zebedee. Have you ever noticed that the plans we oftentimes have for our kids really don't turn out? Right? We have a plan for what they think they're going to accomplish, what we think they ought to accomplish, and many times the Lord redirects their life. And sometimes we don't like that. We don't like the plans that the Lord has for them. And sometimes we think that maybe my plans are better. But the Lord Knows Best. There was a show that I grew up with years ago called Father Knows Best, right? Yes. Yes. And our Father, especially with our kids, knows what's best. Psalm 127 puts it this way. Children are a heritage of the Lord, children a reward from Him. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. And so if you've had kids, if you've had a bunch of arrows in your quiver, what do you do with arrows? And you... Those of you who are at peace have heard me say this before. What do you do with an arrow? You aim it at a target, right? And the target is not, listen to this, the target is not that they're successful, not that they make a lot of money, not that they uh, find a good spouse, not that they raise good kids, not that they uh, make um, so much money that they can take care of us in their retirement, in our retirement. What's the the target? What do we want for them? What's the greatest expectation you have for your kids? That they would love Jesus. And they would grow up to be godly kids. And if you spent 18 years aiming that arrow, that they would know Jesus and they would grow up to love Jesus and be godly kids and raise godly families themselves, then they've hit the target. They've accomplished the goal. They've done what you wanted them to do. But oftentimes, our plans for our kids do not accommodate them. Our plans for our kids may not be congruent with the Lord's plan for our kids. Think about Zebedee. Think about what he anticipated for James and John. They're going to take over the business. They're going to be mending the nets for the rest of their lives. They're going to have so many catches, and we'll take those fishes to market, and boy, they're going to be successful, and all of a sudden, the Lord, through his call to to James and John, diverted his plans, and he had to let them go. So when we let go of our children, and all of us in this bus who've had kids have had to do that, we're there for them, we support them, we encourage them, we give them advice if if they ask for it. You ever noticed how many times we want to give advice when they don't ask for it? We're there to give advice when they ask for it, and we release them unto the Lord. And if you have raised kids that love Jesus and are hitting the target and raising godly kids themselves, praise be to God. If you've raised kids and you've aimed them at the target and you let them go and they haven't hit the target yet, keep praying, right? And always be there to encourage your kids because, again... 
our vision for them may not be what the Lord's vision is for them, and we have to let them go. My oldest son is a pastor. I never talked to him about being a pastor. He just told me one day when he was about seven years old, Dad, I'm going to be a pastor just like you, and that's exactly what he did. And then my son Ben came along, and he said the same thing at about seven or eight. He went off to college, and he took Greek, and he hated it. He said, Dad, I'm not going to be a pastor. <laughs> I don't want to be a pastor. I want to be a businessman. And it was so hard for me to say, I'm happy with that, son. You do what the Lord has called you to do. Be the best businessman you can be. Do the best you can to the ability that God has given you. And remember to glorify and honor him in everything you do. My plan for Ben wasn't God's plan. Zebedee's plan for his sons, James and John, wasn't God's plan. And what we do, we say, okay, Lord, you direct the arrow. Whatever it is that you want them to do in life, I'm good with, as long as it honors and glorifies you. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. So, um, no, I got to say this. And that is today's Daily Truth. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.